everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Star Wars or Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Personally, I consider it Star Wars, but you know, it's A New Hope because that's how they're doing these episode titles now, but yeah. So, Star Wars is written and directed by George Lucas. It stars Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and it has the voice of James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. Before I review Star Wars, my guest star, Brian Mendoza, is going to be reviewing this movie. So, Brian, take it away. Hello, everybody. It's Brian Mendoza here, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite movie of all time. And before I talk about thank you, 20 Tire Dude, for having me on this collab review, I'm, of course, going to be talking about my favorite movie of all time, Star Wars. So Star Wars is basically about in a galaxy far, far away. This empire is trying to extinct the rebels and plus the princess has th this plans with the super weapon called the Death Star. So one day farm boy Luke Skywalker goes on this adventure with a old giant master named Obi-Wan Kenobi a bounty hunter named um uh, Han Solo and his companion Chewie, and they have to re rescue the princess and save the galaxy. Star Wars is such an iconic movie, I gotta say, it's a film that holds up almost, I think it's almost been like four years? Yeah, I think it's been like almost four years since this movie came out. It does hold up very well. The special effects are incredible for the time, and I think they still hold up. The acting for everyone is superb. Everyone does a great job. The whole cast, inclu including the stormtroopers that get shot. Okay, that sounds kind of weird, but... So the best sound mixing, the score by John Williams is incredible, I gotta say. This film is well directed. The cinematography is well is well shot. Really nice shots in the movie. And probably the best scene in the whole film, and probably out the whole saga, is the scene where... Luke is looking to the two sides. I do easily get goosebumps watching this. Uh, in my opinion, it has the best climax, best beginning, middle to end to a movie. Um, I don't get why uh, they made the special editions, but those are actually the ones I did grow up watching. I've seen the original cuts, of course. But overall, I like give Star Wars an A+. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. Let's just say, the ones who have seen Star Wars, please do me a big favor if you're watching this right now. Show it to someone who hasn't seen it. Show them all of them, including the prequels, and then take them to see The Force Awakens. Trust me, it's going to be a fun time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, Brian Mendoza, for reviewing Star Wars. I remember when I watched this movie for the first time, I just saw pure movie magic. There was magic in this movie. And what George Lucas introduced to this world that at that time, no one has ever experienced such a thing before. It's so beautiful. Without George Lucas, we wouldn't have a Luke Skywalker. We wouldn't have a Han Solo, a Chewbacca, a C-3PO, the R2-D2, Princess Leia. We wouldn't have any of these characters. We wouldn't have an iconic villain like Darth Vader. We wouldn't have any of that. And I know it's cliche to say this because you're hearing this a lot from a lot of the reviewers, but I loved Star Wars. This movie is beautiful. The filmmaking is incredible and it is by far one of the most original movies I've ever seen in my life, period. The idea it's just so original. It's so well thought out. It's so creative. There are so many great ideas that George Lucas puts into this film, and it is just magnificent. First of all, Mark Hamill is fantastic as Luke Skywalker. And there's people complain about how Luke Skywalker whines. Really? When he whines, it doesn't annoy me. Like, to be honest, even when he whines, it doesn't annoy me. And that's really because it's not like he complains, like, all that much. It's not like he's non-stop or anything. 
But when you watch this movie, you see by the end of this movie, Luke Skywalker really does grow. And it was really cool to see how much he's progressed since the beginning of Star Wars. And I thought Mark Hamill did a great job of portraying this character. Han Solo, of course, played very awesomely by Harrison Ford. Han Solo is just such an awesome character. I mean, can you guys just imagine actually hanging out with Han Solo? Can you just imagine how awesome that would be? It would be really awesome. Alec Guinness, I know I mispronounced that. I'm really sorry about that. He portrays Obi-Wan Kenobi very well. He really does a great job of capturing the character, having so much likability to him. You know, the character is just so wise and he's really caring. And I like how he just brought in Luke Skywalker and how he even offered to train him to be a Jedi. I thought that was very cool. I thought he did a very nice job. I really like Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. I thought she did a very nice job. I thought everyone just did a great job portraying in the roles. Of course, you get to see Chewbacca. I love seeing Chewbacca here. That was so awesome. Of course, it's awesome seeing R2-D2 and C-3PO. It's always great to see those characters, honestly. That's Chewbacca, R2-D2, and C-3PO. They're definitely some of my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe. The filmmaking by George Lucas is so terrific you know for the time the special effects look terrific they really do hold up very well cinematography looks beautiful and as George Lucas is directing this film he uses a lot of wide shots for you to get really immersed into this movie and I always love it when a director does it because it just helps that movie experience just so much better and it just makes it that much more grand the action sequences are a lot of fun to watch you know with all the lightsabers and the shooting going around they're all filmed so beautifully it's got a great tone to it the score by John Williams of course is phenomenal and of course Darth Vader such an iconic villain he was really menacing he is someone you definitely don't want to mess with especially when he does the force choke which Goodness, can you imagine getting force choked by Darth Vader? Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen. You could tell when you watch Star Wars that it was just going for the fun vibe. This movie just wanted to be very fun. And that's exactly what it is. The movie understands its tone. It understands its atmosphere. The world that it builds is just truly mind-blowing and as you're following these characters the adventure they go on together is really exciting it's really thrilling and it gives you the adrenaline rush because of how much is really going on like the first hour is like really all about build up and it's never slow it does take its time but it's never slow it was building up at just the right pace which I love about this movie then when you get to the second hour of Star Wars that's when basically all of the action kicks in and you're just in for the ride of your life now I do have one flaw with Star Wars if I have to be honest with you guys there is one flaw I have with this film it's not even a big flaw but it's a flaw at the point now and it is a spoiler flaw because I can't really say it without spoiling it so if you guys don't want to see what that is just skip to this part of the video right here but my only flaw with Star Wars personally is that Obi-Wan Kenobi was talking to Luke Skywalker about Luke becoming a Jedi Obi-Wan taking Luke in and to train him and show him the ways of the force but Luke Skywalker doesn't want to do it because of his uncle wanting him to stay there and him helping his uncle but then when Luke goes back to his home he sees that his home is burning up as in his uncle and his aunt they're both dead so when he sees that like literally a minute or half a second later that's when he goes back to Obi-Wan Kenobi and says okay I'll join but I didn't have a problem with him like joining the problem is that how rushed it was like just a minute ago he tells him he doesn't want to then he goes back to his home and sees that's burning and that's when like I think 30 seconds later he goes back it just felt rushed how that one moment was executed honestly that's the only real flaw I had with Star Wars overall guys 
You've heard it a bunch of times and you're going to hear from me. I love Star Wars. This was a great way to introduce the universe for George Lucas to expand on this original idea that he created with fascinating characters, fascinating storytelling, fascinating practical effects, beautiful cinematography, and just knowing how to create pure movie magic. Star Wars is an experience. I loved every moment of this movie. I am giving Star Wars my honorary four out of four stars. I think it's a near perfect movie and definitely if you haven't seen Star Wars I say definitely see it. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think of Star Wars or Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. And I would also love to thank Brian Mendoza for guest starring to review Star Wars or Star Wars A New Hope with me. He's a very cool guy you guys. Check out his channel. I highly recommend it. The dude loves movies so much. So if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!